Bojo, when I look down at the, the list of cl- uh, clubs you've played for, it, it's an incredible read. Barcelona, Roma, Milan, Ajax. And then it says Stoke. Um, how did that come about? No disrespect to Stoke and the people of Stoke, but after Barca, Roma, Milan and Ajax, I don't expect to see Stoke. Were you? Did you mishear them? Did you think they said maybe Manchester United and then Stoke turned up? How did that deal come about? <laughs> No, 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 no. I, you know, like in that summer, Stoke, uh, they called me and uh, the people that I asked, listen, I have a Stoke offer. Everyone were saying to me, no, you're crazy. Why you go there? <laughs> they don't play football. Uh, and I said, yeah, I don't know. But if they call me, it's because, you know, they understand my qualities uh, physically, technically. So, uh, I want to go, I want to play in the Premier League, so yeah, let's go. And uh, for sure, it's one of the best choices that I made in my career. Uh, we we had uh, fantastic years uh, playing fantastic football in the Premier League. Uh, Stoke as a club is yeah, a small club, but family club. Uh, the fans are, you know, like uh, for me, um, the greatest <laughs> fans that I had in all my clubs that I played with. So, wow. yeah. That's, that's uh, some accolade. Let me ask you then, because the ma- I think I'm right in saying the manager at the time was Mark Hughes. And yes. obviously he has a connection to Barcelona. Did that come into it? Did you speak to Mark Hughes before? And was he quite influential in your decision? Uh, well, yes, he was the manager and he, yeah, he, he wanted me, you know, but you know that in football sometimes, not sometimes, I think, you know, like before you 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 have to sign the club. Everyone, uh, they they just say the the nice things. You know, then it's up to you if you want to believe it or not. Uh, but you know, apart from Mark Hughes, uh, was Mar Mar uh, was playing there, uh, and uh, you know, you know when you feel, you know, it was you know like uh, in that time I feel it. I feel it that that talk was the right place to 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 be to play with and uh, and yeah uh, it was I always wonder this because you you've been at Barcelona great club Roma Milan Ajax what was training like at Stoke because I'm 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 guessing <laughs> at Barcelona and the other, other clubs it's possession based uh, maybe small sided boxes what was it like at Stoke no it was it was nice it was nice uh, nice trainings I mean, we finished three years in a row. We finished ninth in the Premier League. So, playing fantastic football. We had many good uh, footballers. Uh, Marco, uh, Shakiri, Steven and Zonzi, uh, yeah, Glenn Willen, Afelai. Many, many good players, you know, that uh, that we played nice football. Uh, then we had uh, Ryan Showcross that we that uh, that for me is uh, you know like a great leader, fantastic professional. I don't know. We had many good things, you know, in that dressing room that uh, that we yeah. I think that we we changed the mentality of the club um, and uh, yeah, uh, Stokelona. They were saying Stokelona. <laughs> yeah. Stokelona. Are you still in contact with any of the Stoke players? Uh, yes, yes, with Ryan, uh, with uh, with uh, Jonathan Walters as well. Uh, yeah, with Mar Muniesa, of course. Uh, yeah, and with also with you know some people that they work still for the Stoke. What What are the big differences in the dressing room before a match in England compared to Barcelona? I can say probably the music. Peter Kraut was the <laughs> DJ in that time and uh, was not the best music. <laughs> Crouchy, Crouchy, fantastic player, fantastic human. I love Crouchy, uh, honestly, but uh, the music was not not the best. What kind of music was it? Can you remember? I cannot describe. It was you know, like in Spain, we 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 are used to to play reggaeton, something like makes you you know like uh, feel uh, I don't know happy. Uh, the music of Crouchy was more I don't know to chill, you know. <laughs> or probably it's great music, but not uh, before the game. <laughs> no, I can I completely understand that. Where, uh, where, if you could only live one place for the rest of your life, would it be Stoke or Barcelona? Uh, Barcelona, of course. <laughs> okay. M- maybe think about that a little bit longer <laughs> next time I ask you. 
<laughs> okay. Do you do you do you pay much attention to the Premier League still? Do you follow it? Do you look at Stoke's results in over in England? Yes, yes, of course. For me, Premier League is the best league that I played, and uh, still the best league that you can watch a football game. What, what do you, what do you make? What, sorry, what are the big differences between La Liga and the Premier League? Because a lot of people say that the Premier League is the best, but then you've got teams like Real Madrid that win the Champions League pretty much every year. What are the big differences between the two? Yeah, but for me, it's not. Uh, it's not. You cannot compare the leagues and the clubs. You know. Uh, of course, Madrid, fantastic club. Barca is a fantastic club, uh, but the leagues are completely different. Um, I don't know the rhythm of the game, uh, the organization of the league, uh, the fields in England. All of the fields are great. Uh, I don't know the weather. You cannot control in Stoke. We had a lot of wind. <laughs> <laughs> but, but apart of that, uh, yeah, I don't know. In in I think in in England, uh, yeah, you, you can see more football, more quality of the of the of the players of the game. In Spain, you have also really really you know like it's difficult to compare. It's difficult to say which one is better. You know, for sure in Spain you have great players, great teams. Uh, also big history behind of a lot of these uh, a lot of uh, clubs but I don't know the the Premier League is something different uh, let me just throw some quick random questions at you because I know our time with you is coming to an end is that okay yes yes perfect Harry Kane how great a player is Harry Kane and compare him to some of the best number nines in world football yeah Harry Kane is yes one of the probably the most complete number nine uh, that you have in Europe for sure. Um, he's you know smashing. He smashed the Premier League, scoring goals also with the national team uh, with the right foot, left foot, header. I don't know. He had he have everything. Where where do you think he should go next? I don't know. Uh, I would like to see uh, Harry Kane in Man United or why not in another country? Uh, probably, I don't know, in in another in another big club in in La Liga or yeah, okay. in La Liga or, or Premier. I'll just or, put you down as, as Manchester United as your answer. As they're my okay. team. <laughs> Um, and, and last question, obviously Man City have a chance of winning the treble. Do you think they'll win the Premier League? Do you think they'll win the treble? They can win everything, honestly. Yesterday, Pep, uh, he didn't make any sub. And uh, I think it's because he knows that this weekend, I think they play Everton away. He can play with a number, with another team. And, and that team will be also... Uh, Massive, you know, he have fantastic players. The players, they already, you know, like believing in what they are doing. They're playing really good football. Physically, they are in good form. Uh, and uh, yes, they can win. They can win. Okay, I'll, I'll just put you down as not sure. Okay. <laughs> okay. There you go. Uh, listen, what a real pleasure. Honestly, a real honour. When we found out you were coming on our show, we were very excited. We had so many questions. We've only got a small percentage of them out. Are you ever over in England anytime soon? I came uh, last week. Last <gasps> week, I think I came. Oh, when are you coming back? I don't know. I love the country. It's, okay. I think it's one hour heady uh, okay, time well, flight. So well, when you, come, when you come back, we would love to have you in the studio. Perfect. You will probably perfect. get a call from someone called Jim White. Just block it. Do not answer it. Because he'll want okay, you on his perfect. show. But just okay. just don't even answer it, all right? It's our show who's the okay. one you want to come on to. Bojan, listen, a real pleasure. Thank you so much. It's Thank been you so great much. hearing all your memories of, of course, your wonderful time at Stoke. And um, you've been a teammate of such geniuses of Ronaldinho and Messi, to name but two. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. A real pleasure. And we'll speak to you in a bit. Pleasure for me. Thank you. Thanks, Thank you. Man. There you go. Bojan, of course, former Barcelona, Roma, Ajax, and Stoke. Mm. Are you happy now that he said Ronaldinho? Yeah, over Messi? It, you, like you don't get enough love. You're signalling to the. Joe, yeah, because Joe's not having him. Joe's a rating. I know. He's not. I know he's not.
Talksport Drive with Andy Goldstein. Monday to Friday afternoon from 4 on AM, on DAB, via the Talksport app and on your smart speaker. Talksport.